Hello. To support your more able child in succeeding at GCSE business, they can do the following at home. Firstly, there are challenge activities at the end of every chapter in the online textbook, which every student's been given access to. They need to go into their RM Unify, access the textbook, and they can look at the strengthened uh, activities, which are indicated with a letter C. If you don't know your RM Unify login, or you can't access the online textbook, then make sure your child talks to his or her teacher. The next thing your child can do is really simple. Go on and look at some exam papers. They need to look at the Pearson Excel GCSE business course that started in 2017. Currently, there's some assessment, sample assessment material available. The next thing that your child can do is go on Quizlet. Quizlet is absolutely amazing. It reinforces retrieval, it reinforces rehearsal, and reinforces the long-term learning that gets children 90, 95, 99, 100 percent in their examinations. Next, your child can go on to SenecaLearning.com. It's true, you can learn twice as fast for free with Seneca. It's twice as better as normal revision guides that you get at other good at other good bookstores. It is amazing. It's tailored right towards your child's needs. Next. Now, this list of reading good quality newspapers is not the end of and the be all of everything, but there is something called in the UK the newspaper and advertising market, the quality press. It's currently made up of the Daily Telegraph, the Times, Financial Times, the Guardian, and the Independent's Eye newspaper. The Economist isn't so much of a newspaper, more of a magazine, but it's useful to include it. Please don't take this as a um, endorsement of any one newspaper's stance on any issue. It's important to read widely, to see many viewpoints, and hopefully have a really good, strong understanding to help in GCSE business. Thank you.